Alright guys, welcome, Hush Gardeners. Um, so what I want to do today is a, a follow-up video to my last video that um, was based around making a damping resistor jig setup, which you see on the screen now. So what we're going to look at this morning is, is the actual waveforms and how to best tune your damping resistor and what the proper waveform should look like off your uh, output of your preamp. So let's uh, take a look at that next. So what you see here on the screen is the output of the preamp and uh, this morning I'm using a, a hammerhead board. You can use whatever board you have available for a pulse induction machine. I have a 300 micro Henry coil hooked up, nothing special, just a mono coil. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this jig that we just saw. And you should be able to see a marked difference in the waveform. So, what we started out with was a much larger amount of resistance and you can see the ringing is reducing okay and now we've gone too far so we've gone to a, a, a too small a an amount of resistance here so let's bring it back back and just a little bit more see too far so we're, we're right about there that's about 360 ohms that's where it looks pretty good for this coil now I just want to explain and go to the too small value again you can see that this extended right and so we, we've extended the saturation point here and how that's going to affect us is when we are dealing with um, items like gold that have uh, a lower conductivity the eddy currents in gold die out much quicker so if we've extended all the way out here our our gold is is like around say 10 microseconds that that's a good point and so we're going to miss all that signal so that's one of the reasons why you really have to tune in your damping resistor this isn't a particularly fast coil i think i have maybe close to 12 microseconds on it thereabouts but that gives you an idea of what you should be looking at you know we went from the extreme with the with the tremendous amount of ringing to having too small a value of resistance and then we extended our saturation point way out which is is not good for detection all right so that's all we have today and uh, if you haven't already seen the the video for how to make the jig I'll put it in the information and take a look at it it, it may be of interest okay guys thanks